Hello everybody, it's Luca Suki here and welcome to more Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Super Nintendo. We're going to carry off where we left off last time. So yeah, same channel, slightly different name. I'm still Richard Lucas, dodge this, but I just thought I need a name with a little bit of pizzazz and just trying to stand out a little bit more. And uh, and since my last name's Lucas, I just wanted to kind of merge it with something. So I thought Lucas Suki sounded pretty good, so I just pulled it together and well, here we are. So anyway, we're going to carry on where we left off which was kind of on the verge of just warping to Gloomy Gulch. Now, I do need two coins in order to do that, so I'm going to have to just pop into Hornet Hole and pick up some banana coins. So, banana coins are a pain to collect because they're not always in the most easiest of places sometimes and you do need them to save your game to warp to basically almost do everything now i think that um it's free the first time on the world to use uh wrinkling i think it's free to save your game so i may not have to worry about picking up any excess coins now unfortunately on the next world she doesn't show up for about three or four levels i think she shows up after gusty glade i hope she does anyway because um it's a real kind of obstacle course that you put through and you will see what i mean we've got uh, not only a ghost kind of level to deal with ghost ropes we've got a, another roller coaster level where we're chased by this huge uh ghost called crackle and it's absolutely crazy Okay, here we go. Right, Gloomy Gulch. Here we go. Okay, let's do this. Alright, so I've been practicing the first few levels, so I am vaguely familiar with them. They are still a pain in the behind, though. So I will try and get through this as quickly as I can. You don't want to take any stupid risks on this um, level because, as you can see, these ghost ropes will not stay up. They do kind of disappear. I think it's something to do like they last for about two seconds, disappear, then reappear, and stuff like that. So I'm going to just pop down here for the first secret, which is the DK coin. Pop up again. Oh god. Hit the zinger. Oh, I thought it would hit the zinger, but no. Right, we're going to go into the first bonus room now as well, which is straight through this wall. Okay, so yeah, I've kind of done this to death, if I'm honest. Um, I keep getting to Gusty Glade and I keep dying, and because Wrinkly's not there, I cannot save my game, so I am actually using a proper Super Nintendo. Um, so, I, I guess most people use emulators, which are pretty cool with save states and stuff, but I always kind of like to use the actual equipment and stuff rather than emulators. Emulators are pretty cool though, I will say that much. But there is nothing like playing on an old school sort of system, as you would back in the day. Okay. Alright, great. There we go, I'm not going to get that in anyway because I haven't got the O. Now this is a bugger because you've got ghost ropes. You need to get on this one slightly before it disappears and then shoot yourself into the bonus room which is just up above. Right, find the token. This one is fairly easy. Just use Dixie to move across or Diddy if you can. Either's good but Dixie is slightly easier and boom. And we've got everything now on this stage. We've just got to worry about finishing it now. Move out of the way of those freaking TNT things. Pain in the behind. Boom. Okay, ghost rope. Oh yes. Oh no you don't. So I'm taking some daft risks here but hell, hell it doesn't matter. There we go. That should be everything on the level now. Haunted Hall now. So yeah, I am trying to get through this as expediently as I can. Um, I don't want to linger. All I want to really worry about is just finding Wrinkly Kong and getting getting through these bonus rooms and stuff. 
Alright, so I'm being chased by this thing called Crackle Man. He's a literal pain in the ass. You have so many seconds before he catches you. You have to hit the green barrels to make him kind of... Well, to give you extra time anyway. So what you want to do at this point is you want to jump here. Jump up. And uh, there's two bonus rooms in one here. So once we've done this one, we'll be warped into the second one. So this one, we just got to find the token. The token is actually backwards. So we have to get up, ride it here, and then jump, 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 and boom. There we are. It's the 50 second token. And check out what happens now. We're thrown out of that one, and we're thrown into the second one. And there is also a third one coming up later on in the stage as well, so it's not too bad. So here we go, we've got to collect the stars. Now we'll collect as many as we can. So make sure that you try and collect quite a lot. It does kind of let you miss a few, you know, but as long as you collect as much as you can, then it will kind of... There you go, see that? We've got over the amount I needed, and you can get the token at the end, and boom, and there you go. Right, okay. I need to get to that halfway point over. And there's Crackle waiting for a go at Kong. You see, if you do not keep the time going, he will merge, become real, and hurt you. So that's kind of what you need to do. Kind of not what I'm doing. Once I find the halfway point, I should be alright. There we go. Should be. This is the halfway point now. And it's after the next kind of set of doors, I think. That's when the bonus room appears. I've got 30 odd seconds, which is quite a good time. The time's come counting down now. Four, three. Oh, just made it. I just made it, but he was like, nope. Oh. Yeah, so I landed wrong as well. I was gonna I should I was gonna do trying to do a small hop into the bonus room, so I will try that again, guys. It's not uber difficult this, it can be done. So it's not as difficult as it seems, it's just practice really. I think the, the most difficult thing about this is getting those bonus rooms and avoiding those red barrels. That's kind of what you need to do here. Just stay calm also, which is easier said than done, and I've done it again. I've missed the friggin' bonus room. So I'm not happy about that. I might be able to get to the end and get the DK coin anyway and then go back to this one. So I don't kind of want to lose life unnecessarily if I don't have to. There we go, extra few seconds towards the end. Oh yeah, booyah. There we are, and I've got to the end of the stage anyway. And so the DK coin is literally just in there. I need to just there we are get that extra life at the end so I'm just gonna go back in that level now guys and try and get into that third bonus room it is a real pain in the arse I don't mind saying to get but at least um, I can also pick up some excess bananas as well and hopefully increase my life counter at the same time so yeah I always find this last bonus room very awkward to do because it's right after the halfway point and you kind of have to do a, like a very small hop so you just tap the button just a little bit and the Kong should go onto that lower track sometimes but it's just getting the, the timing right and making sure you know where you're going and I don't remember that bit but never mind and there's crackle again appearing I don't know if they're different ghosts or if it's the same ghost because I think the bandana keeps changing I don't know I'm just trying to find out but oh yeah there we go it's the O boom there we are so it's kind of at the next set of doors I think ah the next set of doors it is there we go jump it's here. There we go. 
find the token. Oh, okay, this one's fairly, uh, fairly simple. You just gotta jump. That's all you've gotta do. Just concentrate. When the end of the track comes, just jump. Basically, jump for your life, and you will make it in time. There you go. Right, and that's everything on that stage. So with that done, 